Hi, I'm Claudia from Snuggly Monkey. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to get started with a speed weave style mending loom. These little looms are fantastic for making decorative patches in your projects, as well as mending small holes in a jeans or socks. You can even make little pockets with them. These little looms were really popular in the 1940s and 50s. They were, the Speedweave one was made by the EA Chestock Company in Manchester, England, but they were made by various companies all over the world under different names, like the Daga Darner, the Star Darning Machine, the Darn Easy. The ones that I sell in the shop are reproductions, but you can still find original ones in places like antique shops, auction sites, and maybe even in your grandmother's sewing box. Let's take a look at the supplies that you're gonna need to use your loom. First, you're going to need some thread. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using sashiko thread, but you can use just about anything like embroidery floss, pearl cotton, wool threads, even silk threads if you're doing something really delicate. You're going to want a couple of needles. I prefer using a size 3 sharp tip embroidery needle for the weaving, and then I use a second needle to tamp down my threads. I use a long sashiko needle, but you could also use a size one milliner needle or some darning needles for this. You're gonna want a marking pencil, some scissors, and then the fabric that you're gonna be working on. So let's get our supplies together and let's get started. Your loom comes with three different parts. You have your hooks, your darning disc, and two rubber bands. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to mark off the area that you're going to be patching up. You're limited in the width of your patch by how many hooks are on your loom. If you have a 14 hook or a 20 hook, you'll be able to do a wider patch area. You can do a patch as long as you'd like, you're not limited in that regard, but you can only do it as wide as many hooks as you have. By drawing out where you're going to be patching, you're gonna get a neater patch. So you just wanna use your pencil to mark off the area that you're gonna be working on. Okay, once you have your patch area marked, you're going to put your fabric onto your loom. You want to center your patch area on the wooden disc and attach the first rubber band. Okay, you're going to straighten out your fabric, make it nice and smooth. Perfect. Now you're going to attach your hooks. You want the top area of your patch to line up with the bottoms of the hooks. So I'm going to scoot that up a little bit further. Once you have your hooks lined up with your area that you're going to patch, you're going to grab your second rubber band and put that around the metal loom and then into the groove, and that's how you attach your loom onto your fabric. Next, you're going to uh, select your threads. I'm gonna be using the Sashigo threads um, in these four different colors to establish my warp threads, and then I'm gonna be weaving with the off-white color. You can create different, all sorts of different patterns by the colors that you use. So in this one, I created a rainbow um, in my warp threads and then I wove it with white thread. Um, in this patch, I alternated uh, teal and orange and then I wove with the same teal. So by selecting your different color threads, um, you'll be creating different patterns. Once you have your fabric set up on the loom, you're ready to start setting up your warp. Go ahead and thread your embroidery needle with whatever thread it is that you're using. You don't need any knots on it. And then set all of your hooks to be upright so that all of the little hook pieces are facing you. You're gonna insert your needle 
down below and then bring it up on your starting line where you wanted to start your patch. Pull your thread through and then you want to leave yourself a pretty generous tail on the bottom over here. You take your thread, loop it through the first hook, and then bring your needle on that same line that you drew right next to where you came up. You're going to go down and then pull your needle out the bottom. And there you've got your first loop. You want to leave yourself a generous tail down here because at the end you're going to pull these threads to the back and weave them through to finish off your piece. So you want to leave enough length that you'll be able to get your needle through there in order to be able to weave it at the end. Grab your scissors and snip. I'm going to be using a few different colors, so I'm going to skip a couple here um, and then my next one will be over here so the same thing I come down come up bring my thread through the hook And you repeat this process with all of your hooks all the way across in the pattern of colors that you want to use. Once you have all your warp threads on there, go ahead and turn all your hooks to one side. At this point, I find it helpful to add a small needle minder to the top of my loom, and that can hold my large needle that I'm going to be using to beat or tamp down my weaving thread. And now I have threaded the color thread that I'm going to be using for weaving onto my embroidery needle. To start weaving, you're going to look for those guidelines that you made for yourself um, at the beginning. That's what you're going to use to guide where you slide your needle into the fabric and come back up on that line. Pull your weaving thread through. Again, leave yourself a nice generous tail because you're going to pull that uh, into the back. And now to start weaving, I like to turn my needle backwards so that I'm pushing the eye of the needle through the threads and I'm holding the sharp tip in my fingers. Bring your the eye of your needle up to right close to the hooks and slide it through all of your threads. Go ahead and pull that through. And then when you get to the other side, again, look for the line that you made for yourself here and take a tiny little stitch to anchor your thread onto your fabric that you're going to be mending. Now at this point, I like to go ahead and switch my hooks over. I take my large needle, and again, I first, I thread it through all of those threads, and I use the large needle to bring the thread that I just wove through down on the warp. And that's pretty much it. You've anchored your thread on one side, turn it around, put your eye of your needle 
up near the hooks, pull your thread through, anchor your stitches on the side, Turn your hooks, take your second needle, and bring your thread down. And that's pretty much it. That's how you weave with this loom. You want to keep weaving until you get as close as you possibly can to your hooks. Once you're at that point, now it's time to take your loom off. So go ahead and remove, I'm going to take this off first. Take your rubber bands off. carefully you're going to unhook your threads to get your loom off of the fabric. Now if you wanted to make turn this into a pocket right now the top of your fabric is not attached to uh, I'm sorry, the top of your patch is not attached to your fabric. So you have a little pocket back here. So if you wanted to just leave this as a pocket, you would just pull on these threads to snug up the loops up there and you would be done. But if you want this to be a patch, you have to attach the top of it onto your fabric. So you're going to go through your loops here on top one more time and you're going to be catching the fabric underneath as you're weaving through your loops. to secure your patch onto your fabric. And then to tidy up the top, you're just gonna gently tug on your strings here at the bottom to tighten them up. And then you have a nice finished little patch with your loom. The final step that you'll need to do is you'll just need to pull all of these thread strands uh, to the back of your patch and then you will thread your needle with these uh, little threads, weave the ends into the back of your fabric and you will have a completed patch. And that is how you use a Speedweave style mending loom. <laughs>